what are your passions and where do they lie? That's something I've always thought about. That's something that everybody's probably thought about probably once in their life. I was always fascinated with filmmaking, with graphic design, with typography my whole life. When I was little, I realized that I could uh, blend all my passions together. And that's how I found title design. It just sort of came kind of organically for me. If there's one thing I've always loved, it's drawing. It allows me to express myself in a way that nothing else can. I first found drawing when I moved to Arizona, and ever since then, I've been making characters, worlds, and stories that I've always wanted to make. And, you know, I only have drawing to thank for all of that. But it wasn't always this easy. Me and Aiden were born in October of 2006. We are identical twins. We were supposed to be born in February of the following year. We came four months early. We were the sickest of all the babies at any of the major hospitals in Seattle. It was an emergency delivery and Aiden was born first, barely alive. Ethan came next. He wasn't breathing and was unresponsive. Our situation was between life and death. Ethan, due to his heartbeat stopping, passed away multiple times. Each time, the doctors were successful to revive him by getting his heart to beat again. In the six months that we spent in the NICU, we had a team of doctors, nurses, and specialists from all over the world consulting specifically on our case. During those six months, we went through massive brain hemorrhages causing irreparable damage, chronic lung disease, failure to thrive, major eye surgery, heart surgery, life-threatening blood infections, and a lot more. After our six months in the hospital, we spent the next three and a half years in home isolation. We had all the oxygen tanks, heart monitors, feeding tubes, and other equipment needed to keep us alive. Those years included major struggles with seizures and night terrors, as well as constant illnesses due to our fragile immune systems. As we grew up, we started to overcome some of those major medical hurdles. But in the process, we found new obstacles to tackle. Stuttering, anxiety, and depression. However, there was something that kept us going and made us overcome those obstacles. Our passions. From the minute we were born, we were fighting. Then, as we found our passions and dove into what we had always loved, we felt free. Free from all the medical hurdles. Free from all the hard times. And free from death. I'm so happy that I found drawing. Because of it, I'm able to do so much that I've always wanted to do. There's nothing that I would rather do. Main titles are my life. I, I love it and put it I found my passion early on and it always makes me smile every day. And now I see everything through a whole new lens. It's also allowed me to pursue other passions such as filmmaking and photography. And honestly, I only have art to thank for that. So really, people can be happier, even healthier, if they do what they love. So find your passion and follow your dreams. Set goals that scare you. 
After all, if your dreams don't scare you, then they're not big enough.